What's going on everybody, LK here, back at it again with another video, and today some more Dragon Ball Fighters for y'all. So earlier this month, uh, I took a few, and by a few I mean a lot, of uh, team submissions from new subscribers and old subscribers, tier 1s, on my Twitch stream, and I did a couple of them for a video, so today we're doing that again. I'm going to be looking through more teams. Uh, I think it's a good time too because we just had a patch last week, so my perspective on things has uh, shifted a little bit. If you like the content I'm putting out, consider liking this video or subscribing to the channel if you already have not. It does help the channel grow and I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. So first up, we have a team of Trunks B, Z Broly A, and Base Goku B. Uh, the person knows that this team has weaknesses, but they want to see what's wrong with it in my opinion and uh, maybe things that will help them play the team better. So from my perspective, uh, I'm just going to focus on that since they specified on it. One, I'm never really a huge fan of base Goku B. I know a lot of people like it because it gives you resources fast, but uh, personally, I just don't think I'm good enough at the game to sacrifice uh, a neutral assist or like an assist that I could use for more meter like that. So for the most part, I don't really like this assist at all, even though I know what it does for people. On top of that too, it's not like you're playing someone like 18 where at least you get like a barrier or something as a trade off. So even though you're losing something, you're gaining something like in this case, you're really just getting meter. They did buff it recently so that you get more meter and yeah when base goku comes out you get the charge spirit bomb too but like overall i'm not really a fan of it but at least you having him in the anchor slot is a pretty logical choice here and then from there i get why trunks is on point like i haven't really played trunks on point since like season one i don't think he's that great of a point character but with base goku b you will get the resources you need uh, to do things with him very quickly uh, basically as soon as the game starts so like you don't have to play him mid in this case uh but it's still like kind of a weird choice and then broly mid is fine like broly mid is proven basically uh if trunk size broly comes out which is good uh you have two functional anchors uh, this is really what i like about base goku and broly together is that like no matter what happens at the end of the game uh, you have one of them and they both have really good neutral and they can open people up like they will have command grabs and they have a lot of threat good staggers and stuff like that but overall i feel like the team is just all supports and like there's not that much like structure to it so there's not like a really clear way to win you're just basically trying to get meters to go bombo people which is fine if you want to do that but uh i just think it has like no focus and personally, if you wanted to like just change the team up a little bit without changing really anything at all, uh, I would just play Broly on point the way he's at right now. So he would have the extra meter he needs for combos and he really uses it really well. He would have a beam for neutral and then he's Broly so it's hard for him to get in, uh, hard for the opponent to get in, sorry. And once you get next to them, you don't have to need, you don't need like Kid Boo or something because he has a command grab, so you're fine. Next up, we have a team of 18 Bardock and Trunks. Uh, if you watch a lot of Dragon Ball Fighters YouTube, you probably are familiar with this team because it's a uh, Lotus's team, Lotus Asakura's team. So they didn't really specify the assist, so I'm assuming it's all A assist, which is perfectly fine. Uh, and they commented that when I'm running this team, they are running this team, uh, they feel like their neutral is lacking and they don't know if it's because of 18 or me just sucking at neutral. It's a little bit of both. <laughs> I'm going to keep it 100. Uh, this team is very functional. A couple of things you can do if you are struggling with neutral. So if you're running all A assists, your assists are Lariat and Change Future. So 18 is not super great at using them in unique ways. She basically uses them the same way everyone else. So you do like super dash plus this, for example, or you're, you're above them and you call it, or like you fire key blast plus one. So she does a lot of stuff that other characters do. She can use her barrier with these assists in like scrambles or something. So you could do this and call Bardock and that's fine. But if you're really having problems with her, especially as your point, I would actually recommend first try playing point bardock instead uh now you're going to have change the future assist with lariat from the jump from round start and you're also going to have a barrier assist so you can get away with whiffing stuff on purpose and the opponent has to take into account that you have an extremely fast barrier that they can't hit the other nice thing about using 18 in the middle too besides assist of course is that when you get a hit with bardock since she's a she's good okay you can tag into her 
and you can call 17 here and do all your 17 setups. So you get to skip the hard part, especially since it seems that the main struggle you're having is with her neutral. So you can skip the hard part by taking advantage of Bardock's strong neutral and then bring her in. We've seen this with characters already this season, like Ginyu, like Bardock Ginyu, uh, many characters, and Krillin. So uh, this is something you can try as well. Now, if you're really set on switching 18 out for a new point, there are, of course, the standard points that we have in the game that work well with this team. So of course I'm going to re recommend uh, characters like Kipu and Tingu Han that we've seen on point very commonly and they work with these characters very well. Okay, so next up we have a pretty unique team of Beerus, Cooler, and Base Goku with Beerus B assist and the other two A assist. They're looking for feedback and what they mention is their main game plan of this team is to use Beerus to set up orbs and then jail and super dash full screen, all cooler, and then once he's in, he uses base Goku for all sorts of mix Now, the issue is the strategy seems good to them and it's the only real thing they could see with the team. And once Beerus dies, they don't know what to do with Cooler. So the main question is, is the strategy good enough to rely on and what other game plans can they use with this team? It's fine uh, that this is the main thing you're doing. The thing about Beerus dying, so like obviously the point war is gonna be really important to you, right? So uh, if you get really good at this, like scary enough at it, it'll get to the point that like once you get that hit with Beerus, they'll probably spark. If it's that strong, you feel that good about it, then you have to focus on keeping Beerus alive through that. So if you can hit them and win the spark, AKA just survive, or kill their character after the spark, then you're in a good spot. Now, if Beerus is gone though, there's still plenty you can do. So Cooler has a really functional solo neutral. He has huge normals, huge, huge normals. Uh, he has a dive kick, as we all know. So even though the, the light dive kick is uh, minus, you can use it in combination with base Goku to just control screen really easily because you go over them. And then if you touch them, cool. Like no matter what, you get stuff. He has like really good screen control too, you have like the beam, you have the shockwave, you have a lot of ways to get in. Uh, the main thing about him with base Goku too is that you could sneak tricks in, so don't forget that you can get them to block uh, the assist standing if they block 6M. Uh, condition them with Dragon Rush, he has a huge JM that crosses up all the time, so when he's out, you can focus on conditioning with Dragon Rush, and then using your IED jump medium. Uh, to cross them up if they tech poorly or if they anticipate wrong. Your neutral game in the air is good too. They can't super dash at you because you do have an air DP. His defense is good. Uh, you're going to be focusing a lot on neutral and conditioning with both characters. Now, there is a thing where you can bring in base Goku second if you want. Uh, see how that feels. So if you have base Goku second instead, then you're going to keep your DP assist which is really nice, so you have like good anti-air to get in. You don't really need to worry about mix-up because my boy has a command grab. He has good neutral on his own too, good key blast, right? He has tackle to threaten with a lot of space. So you do have a pretty strong shell. It just depends on like the order you want to do things. Getting in might be easier with base Goku with the cooler assist, but keeping people out, like cooler can play on his own for sure. This this takes a lot of like physical skill, you know? Like you have to you have to see the super dash coming and then DP it, for instance. But if you get really good at that, then uh, it could be really hard for them to get in. And like you have moves that threaten that you can combine with base Goku. And once you get base Goku to the middle of the screen, he is a ridiculously strong assist for controlling space. And it hits quite high in the air, as we can see like here. So for example, they're scared of you, boop, and now boom, you have all this frame advantage. So uh, it just depends on like what you want to do in the game. Uh, I actually think it's a pretty interesting idea to play cooler with base Goku. So. Uh, there's definitely more stuff you can do, but it's going to be way less about like, man, I'm going to run it on them really hard. And it's more going to be like, oh, I have to like control neutral, slow things down, keep them out, get them frustrated, and make sure that when I have base Goku, I get cooler to the middle of the screen so that I can call base Goku and control that area. And then you're in, you use Dragon Rush and 6M, because that's basically all you can do. Uh, but he's good at it, so it's fine. And okay, for the last team, we have a team of Base Vegeta, Android 17, and Trunks. Base Vegeta, Android 17, both with A assist, and Trunks with B assist. So this person mentions that 
They feel like 17 doesn't give base Vegeta enough, but they don't want to drop base Vegeta because they spent a lot of time learning combos, specifically the loops, and 17 is their favorite character, so they don't want to switch off 17. So they play this team, but sometimes they play Z Broly Anchor as well. So they're considering playing Anchor 17 uh, if they would find a new mid and just trying to think about like what to do. So I have the impression that he's okay solo. He can be kind of hard to hit. Uh, and you could definitely take advantage of people not knowing the properties of his stuff. Uh, it's definitely a buff to play a character that's rare. And uh, his assist is good too, to support characters. I think you have a couple of options here, uh, especially if you want to keep on playing these two. So you already have, first of all, honestly, like the team is okay. And I don't know really why you think 17 isn't giving base Vegeta stuff, especially because he has like plenty of blocks done and he has a barrier. So he's like the first Roshi, right? He, he has a barrier that you can't hit and then a follow-up that you can combo off of. So it def that definitely adds a lot to a team. Like Even though people think and have thought for a long time 17 is not that strong, everyone agrees that assist is really, really, really fucking good. So I think the sentiment is kind of odd personally. That does help base Vegeta a lot. And I think the team is well made. Like you have a beam anchor and you have a block stun that serves as, as a defensive assist as well. If you do want to swap that out, uh, if you're just feeling like your games aren't stable enough, then yeah, like, a, like you can honestly keep the order you have now of like base Vegeta and 17 and you could try Broly if you want. Broly will help stabilize your games a little bit in case like random stuff happens and then you just lose your characters. These things happen and then Broly can come in and clean up in case stuff goes wrong. Anchor Trunks isn't the best at this. You could also try playing Trunks mid and, and 17 Anchor. Uh, but then you have to play 17 anchor if like the match goes the way it's supposed to. It's sort of up to you. I don't feel like there's a problem with this team and that 17 doesn't give base Vegeta stuff. Especially if you're using this assist. I don't think I don't think the assist is the issue at all. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh I tried to cover a couple more unique teams, because apparently last time all I did was pick top tier shells to look at, but I just picked the teams that I thought looked interesting to me. Uh, of course, it's my sub, so a lot of people play Trunks <laughs> who come up through to the stream. But uh, I hope this gives you more insight to the stuff that I look at, both when I'm playing against people and when I'm considering what I should play as well. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you feel like it, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.